supposed to be an absolutely beautiful day over in D.C. today. They're looking for a high of just around 65 degrees and a little breeze out of the south. Welcome to Washington. You bet. Thank you. You're welcome. On Thursday, November 3rd, 2011, the 17th Honor Flight of the Quad Cities embarked with 89 veterans and their guardians to tour the memorials in Washington, D.C. The early morning flight was greeted with much fanfare, and according to Guardian Dave Iman of Davenport, the Honor Flight was an opportunity to give back. It's a wonderful experience. It gives us a chance to uh, say thank you to our world's greatest generation for what they gave us for a foundation to stand on. It's a wonderful bunch of people. Museum. The tour included many stops, from the Air and Space Museum to the Lincoln Memorial. Each stop had special significance for the vets. So August 6, 1945, this aircraft took off from Tinian and flew to Hiroshima and then dropped a little boy atomic bomb on Hiroshima. After the Air and Space Museum came the most pertinent stop, the World War II Memorial. This gave the veterans a chance to reflect on their service during that time. I was 18, drafted. Franklin D. sent me a notice in 1944. Your uh, neighbors and relatives require your services. So I went overseas. Got the job done. Is it one town or is it? I was up in the hill and the P-51s right through, down through the center of town. And I, I wouldn't like to be down through there. The group, comprised of mostly World War II veterans, were very excited to see the memorial. But John O'Connor of Davenport was even more excited to see the Iwo Jima Memorial. And it's, this is, I haven't been so uptight because of this trip than I was when I was getting married. I didn't get any sleep the night before I got married and I didn't get any sleep last night either. <laughs> I lived through this and uh, I married a gal that was in the Marines and I, I guess it's, it's just a, a, a tremendous experience to me to think that there's all this history in the United States and it, it's much, much too precious a country to let go. Seeing these things that I've read about and heard about and actually seeing them in person and that, that you know, the first person is the much more important, I think, to me. I, I, uh, I, I'm thrilled to death. I, this is a, I've had people that I've talked to that have been here and they said it was the greatest day in their life and I, I agree. I agree. I, some of my family is going to be there to meet me at the bus, or at the plane tonight. and All I can do is tell them that they they should come here. And I, as I talked with the World War II vets and the, and the ones coming back as guardians, they had a great time. Uh, they got to see their memorial and enjoy it. And uh, that's important, especially the way some of these guys are getting up there in age. And that World War II Memorial was their memorial. They got to see it and enjoy it. That's what we're about. Honor flight is for that.